engage the auto steer, all I gotta do is hit this little steering wheel, and then it'll uh, take over. And uh, I can nudge it seven and a half, and then 15 inches, either right or left. And then um, I, uh, well, to explain kind of what we did, we, we told the um, auto steer that it was only two and a half foot wide implement. So basically we're one horn row wide. Then I can pick any row that I want and I can nudge either way. And this is the screen that I use to look into the uh, cart. We got a camera inside the cart. Uh, one on one uh, looking out the back for on the highway and then one on the end of the auger to look when I'm uh, loading a semi. So that's really nice to have. It's a Voyager Tough Cam that we, system that we use. Then the other cool piece of information that we got that probably a lot of people have, have a scale on the cart so then I know uh, how loaded, how much of a load I have on and really helps on loading too. He's also using auto steer, so you'll notice a lot of times you don't have hands on the wheel either. <laughs> so now I'll try to pick a closer row because he's full. Or, uh, I mean, I'm more full. So as, as I get fuller, I gotta get closer to him. Then we'll look in here, see he's right down the center. Yeah, I normally don't talk in my videos. I don't particularly like talking on them, but some of this is easier to explain if I just uh, talk about it. to be very well spoken or uh, good in front of the camera but people seem to enjoy my videos anyway so I, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Once we get above like 55,000, we're really getting full. And I uh, have to uh, place the cart more accurately for him and slow down a little bit so he can get from the back to the front. Now I'm going to let him get what he can to the end of the field and top me off. get out of his way before he makes his turn so I gotta really accelerate it's hard to do with such a heavy piece of equipment it's not like I'm on my snowmobile can't really just get away from him quick with this thing now this is a pretty good sized hill I think I'm gonna take it more straight than I did last time Corn coming out this side. It's gonna tell we got a pretty good. 
good lord, it's working this tractor for all it's got. These tracks take a lot of power, but they do pull a lot. Now I gotta try to approach this driveway at enough of an angle that I don't rip it up. So I'll tell you what, it's not that fun. <laughs> Try to do it where I don't steer on the road. Hopefully, I don't get any out the side. So then I'll go untouch the wheel across the road here, and I'm a back up load in there.
grain car to like work more in my house, so <laughs> no pressure, right? Once I get down to 10,000 pounds, I gotta rev it down because you don't want to run this auger at full speed when you're getting empty. 